Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing four summer <coughs> four summer hairstyles or concert hairstyles or festival or occasion or even winter hairstyles. Okay, not winter. You can wear them in winter if you like, but these are just inspired by summer. So yeah, all of these hairstyles are relatively easy. I don't really want to put any difficulty in these because they should be quick and easy or just cute and simple. You get what I'm saying, you get my gist, you get, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on to the hairstyles. So for the first hairstyle, you'll be needing, needing two hair ties and a hairbrush. And you'll be starting by parting your hair in the middle and brushing it all out. Then we're going to take one of the one of the sides, just pull out some hairs if you want to. I prefer having some hairs in front of my face because it, it kind of looks better. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. And just start wrapping your hair around your finger and secure it with a hair tie. And after that, I like to just like pull on it a bit, make it look a bit messy because I think that's what really creates the look. And then you're done. And you just got to do it on the other side. Grab some hairs forward, gather it all up into a tall, no, like a high ponytail, and then just see so wrap it around your finger and secure it with a hair tie. And that's basically it. Another cool thing with this hair cell is that you can add anything you want. You can also add a bandana, make it look really like, I think it looks kind of retro pin up -y, and I really, really like that style. I'm always into bandanas. So you give it a little fresh look with a little like, bright one or a black one, whatever you like. And you can also use like two little cute hair flowers, like any accessories you have, even like wear a flower crown or anything like that. I found these two in Australia. I'll link down below um, like an eBay where you can buy them. I think they're adorable, especially if you like in to Hawaiian style like floral these are super cute For the next hairstyle, you'll be also just needing two hair ties and a brush and I'll be doing a middle part again and now we're going to be doing like French braids, Dutch braids, whatever you'd like to call them, uh, but we're not going all the way out. We are just going to do a um, Dutch slash French braid all the way down to the nape of your neck and then once you're done there, you're just going to secure it with a hair tie and just let the rest of the hair hang loose. Once you are done and secured the hair ties, pull some hairs out if you want by the sides and you can even fluff them up, which looks even more cute. And I am in love with this hairstyle. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's it done. For the third hairstyle, you'll just be needing one hair tie and a hairbrush. And we're going to be doing like a half up, do down hairstyle with like a braid in the front. Okay, I, this is my first time trying it out, so don't judge me. <laughs> but you grab, take two fingers and you just grab a top part of your hair, how much you want up, and you brush it out. And then it's a bit difficult, but you kind of have to like be a bit upside down and basically just make a braid. And it doesn't really come out as visible on my hair because I have quite dark hair. But um, yeah, I'm just securing the top part that I'm putting up now. And then the other part that I'm having down, I'm just putting in a hair tie meanwhile. So just get that out of the way. And then I'll be going in and doing the braid. Just make a regular braid. And don't do it all the way out. Just do it as much as, you know, think looks nice amount that makes it look visible <laughs> as the braid. And then you just grab the rest and just twin it between your fingers and secure it with a hair tie. Sounds a bit complicated, 
but I hope it's not. It's not. I'm not trying to make it complicated. See, you just see like a little cute little braid on the top and you just grab it, curl it around your fingers and secure, drag, bobby pin, do whatever. It looked a bit crazy there, so I had to bobby pin it. But after that, it looked pretty cute. Last hairstyle idea, you'll be needing a hair tie and basically this is just a really basic side bun where you just grab your hair, pull it back, like slick it back, uh, grab some hair out in the front. You see I'm twisting it around my hand or finger and then secure it with a hair tie. It doesn't have to look neat. I think that's the coolest part about it. I mean, it looked really floppy on me, but I like that. I like it showing a bit like floppiness. It doesn't look so tidy and what I like about it is that you can add a hat. I got this hat from Brandy Melville if anybody was wondering and add some hair on the sides and I think it looked pretty cute. I mean it's easy and yeah. So yes that was my four hairstyles for summer you can do. They're pretty simple not really a lot of effort put into them. Uh, yeah, so if you want to use this for concerts, festivals, summertime, whatever, you are so absolutely free to do that. Do whatever you want. Take inspiration. Make a twist on it. Do whatever you want. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, give it a look. Whoa! <clears throat> Leave me a like if you liked it and let me know down below what hairstyle you like to wear in the summertime because I'm curious. I want to know. Do you like a ponytail? Do you like pigtails? Do you like a braid? You'd like, what's your favorite type of hairstyle? Okay, uh, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you again for clicking in on this video. Don't forget to follow all my social medias down below, my Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Okay, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Have a good summer.